welcome back to my channel. So over the last couple of weeks on my Instagram, I've put up um, for my followers to ask me questions. I'll just jump right in there. What do you love about makeup? Me personally, I wear makeup on myself to try and make myself feel better. When I've no makeup on, like I wouldn't have the best skin and I just don't feel like I just don't feel like amazing when I don't have makeup on. I don't feel amazing when I do have makeup on. Never mind when I don't have it on. But I feel like whenever you do have your makeup on or your hair done or your tan, it just gives you that, like that way extra bit of confidence. Like that is so awful to say because like I bang on about like, oh, you should be happy in yourself. And like if you're not happy from within, like no matter what you put on the outside, like you're not going to be happy, which is true. But I just feel like, self-confidence is just something that you know it sounds so stupid when you're fucking sitting here like doing a youtube video or like posting pictures on instagram and all but like self-confidence is something that i would struggle with a wee bit like me sitting here behind the camera by myself can't away or like posing for pictures and all like that's fine because nobody sees me doing that like nobody sees me doing that or like even see when i bring like edit my videos i fucking hate listening to my own voice so like I just find like I know I'm going off topic a wee bit here, but makeup, I love makeup because it makes me feel nice. I love putting makeup on other people because the response that I get from other people is like them smiling or is them saying, Oh my god, like I love it. Like it's so weird to see myself like this. Like I get a positive response from my clients as well. I love wearing makeup, I love putting makeup on clients because it does bring out like the best and people that brings out people's best features i don't slap on makeup to cover everything that all my clients hate about themselves i put it on them to bring out what like they like the best if they have really like nice colored eyes or really big eyes like i'll make sure that i bring that out in them if they have really small eyes and they hate their eyes then i'll try and like do the eyeshadow to make their eyes look bigger or do you know what i mean like i find makeup can do so many different things for so many different people Sorry, I banged on about that for too long. Um, they're a brand that you absolutely can't stand and why? It's not really, to be honest, like I'm trying to think. No. I think because, because I'm only self-taught and because I'm only like CM makeup, it's only a really small business so far. Like I only have a cabin and I only do it at the weekends. Like I don't have my own salon. I don't do this like makeup full time so I think like the products that I purchase I generally love the brands. Do you like trying new skincare products or do you keep a certain routine? Whenever I do a makeup on the one thing that I swear by is I will take it off before I go to sleep. Like I like I would never ever sleep on my makeup. Like just use like cotton pads and the solar water and then a cleanser to like make sure it's all off my face and like just a, like a wee flannel with hot water. The cleansers that um I have used would be just like like drugstore brands. So like I've used um the L'Oreal that wee like pink flower like tub cleanser. It like melts off your makeup, but it also acts as a cleanser as well. I would use that and I would use like soap and glory. Do you have a beauty budget or do you just spend freely? So yeah. I just spend freely. It's so awful. Like at the minute, my friend's trying to save for a house, so I'm like trying to like not spend where I don't have to. But and because we're in lockdown, like technically I don't need to buy any makeup because I'm not taking clients. But I just went on to that Pilo-E sale the other day, and the week before that, I bought a palette off Pilo-E's, um, with her base and a wee brush of pairs of tatty lashes like before the lockdown happened. The makeup drawers are running out of foundations, if they're running out of primers, setting sprays, powders, stuff like that. If they're running out of things that I need for my clients, I will just repurchase. Um, I never really have a budget. Any kind of makeup you can't leave the house without. If you know me, you know I don't wear makeup. So the only thing like, I suppose mascara, like if I was to pick one product that I would leave the house with, it would be mascara because I don't have very long eyelashes and I look fucking egghead. 
with the no makeup on, so maybe mascara. What kind of coverage do you prefer from your foundations? So me personally, as I've said at the start, I wear makeup to make me feel nicer. Therefore, it's all or nothing. Full coverage or no coverage? Full coverage foundation or no makeup at all? Somebody actually asked, would you rather live alone in an expensive countryside mansion or work hard and live in the city with your family? I wouldn't like to live alone, to be honest. I would love to live in an expensive countryside mansion, but what good is that expensive mansion or living out in the countryside if you're on your own? Like, you have no friends like around you, you have no family to live with no like love or communication like on a daily basis no like the quote that people be like oh like mum I can't buy happiness I genuinely think that that's true like I can't I would rather live in the city with my family would you rather live alone in an expensive countryside mansion or work hard and live in the city with your family hmm like I would like the whole country thing, but then alone you'd be like, I'm depressed. Mm. The alone part's about the fucks out up, like. The living on an expensive, expensive mansion sounds great in the countryside. But then alone's like, yeah. like nobody really likes being alone. So, although I don't think I would like city life. No, I don't but think I would like city life. You'd rather be your people, like. Yeah, I said that too. Somebody said, do you ever get frustrated with doing makeup? Yes. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that this week I've been like in a rut for about four or five days. I was meaning to do my next colour in the rainbow series and I just, I just didn't want to. I was frustrated before I even started doing makeup. I was frustrated with myself because I was getting lazy. I was frustrated with myself because I was unmotivated but the thing is whenever I sat down that day that I was organized to do it I got that frustrated and I was like you know what whenever I start doing this I know it's going to be shit and when you're just in that mindset you are going to get a negative outcome if you're in a negative mindset you're going to get a negative outcome so that day I just won on whatever I wanted to try and make myself feel better because the frustration with makeup takes the fun out of it why do you make up when you're frustrated why like let it annoy you like do you make up because you enjoy it do you make up because it's fun do you make up because it brings out your creative side do you make up because it makes you feel nice like everybody gets frustrated at makeup but if you're getting frustrated at makeup like it's not worth doing right now leave it and come back to it or don't do it at all. Go and take a cup of tea. Um, when you do other people's makeup, are you using the same products every time or do you alternate? So, as I've said, it's sort of this products that I like. However, I have products in my kit that don't suit my skin because my skin is quite dry. So it would be for like clients with more oilier skin. Or I have foundations in there that are for clients with more pinky tones in their skin. Like I have foundations in there that are for people with lighter skin, darker skin. Like my products, most of my products will stay the same as in like my setting sprays. I swear by Urban Decay setting spray. I swear by the Airspun um, powder for set my face. Like things like that stay the same. Um, and like the things like when I do people's eyebrows, if they're looking and fold in, I will use pomades. I just personally prefer pomades. Um, obviously if they're looking like fluffy brows or natural brows, I'll not use a pomade. I'll just use like a brow gel or something. But things like that will stay the same. And obviously my makeup brushes, like I have a few different brands of makeup brushes. And it will just be like the person's face whether I use big brushes or small brushes or their eyes and stuff like that. Products depend on your client. Your kit needs to be able to alternate to suit your client. 
I have my favourite products for my face, but that might not suit somebody else. Where you get your confidence from. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I've banged on about this for about 15 minutes. Um, people think that I have confidence. People on Instagram see my pictures. People on YouTube see my videos. See if you knew me personally, you'd know that I walk down the street with my head down. I try and avoid conversations when I like when I don't need to because I'm so anxious when I meet new people. Or I'm so anxious and paranoid to think that, oh, if I say something, they might judge me for saying that. Or I might say it wrong. Or I might hurt somebody's feelings by saying something. I prefer to stay in my comfort zone. I prefer to stay like in my small group of friends like I don't have a lot of confidence I have a lot of confidence behind the camera and even this has took like a couple of videos for me to get used to it but I don't have confidence at all really to be honest um in my comfort zone I'm confident but other than that not really like work on yourself work on yourself it's something that I am still continuously doing is personal growth you need to understand you to be able to bring out the best in yourself understand your mind understand the way that it works and then you can bring out the best qualities in you your confidence whatever it is that you want to bring out in you how do you cope with isolation and being home with everyone all the time i think it's hard um there's a lot of people in our house and a lot of different personalities I think if you like stay to yourself and do your own things um like that way like you can't really annoy anybody or like your personalities can't really clash that much i think just like everybody is in the situation together everybody is in a fucking shitty situation so i think that everybody just needs to be more open-minded needs to realize that we're all shitty form we're all like trying to be as positive as we can I find like being around like the same people every day is hard. Being on the same four walls is bloody fucking hard. But you need to push through. Like we need to think this is only temporary. The world is going to change after this. People are going to change after this. You're going to know what you want in life after this. You're going to know who you don't want in your life. You're going to know what way you want your life to be after this. And I think even though we get annoyed, we get down in this isolation we need to think about the positive side of it we need to think like things are going to be better there's better days to come somebody asked have you came across any products that have reacted with your own skin or a client's so personally i have never had anything on my skin that has reacted clients i have never ever to this day had a client like text me or phone me or say to me the next time that their skin has come out in a reaction, thank God, touch wood that that never happens to me. Um, I have had a client before come in to me and say that she got her makeup done somewhere else and she was allergic to a certain price. That story of that client telling me that, every single time I've had a new client in, I will always ask them, are you allergic to anything? Just in case anything will come back on me like if I don't ask and they take a reaction it's my fault whether they knew they were allergic to it or not it's my fault because I didn't ask somebody says do you feel in order to be healthy the mind has to be healthy or is that a myth I love this question like I love this question at the minute I am reading a book and it's called the compassionate mind Gilbert wrote it and I'm also actually doing a counselling course alongside this. I am so interested in the mind. The mind is crazy. Do you genuinely think that your mind needs to be in a healthy place for you to be in a healthy place? If you're feeding positivity into your mind, you're going to get positivity out. If you're feeding positivity into the universe, the universe is going to give you positivity back. Somebody says, how do you keep your skin in such good conditions when you wear makeup all the time? So one, I don't wear makeup all the time. I only wear makeup for like Instagram pictures or a YouTube video or like if I'm going out with my friends. Like whenever I go to work, I don't wear makeup at all. And then even at the weekends, I wouldn't really wear makeup unless I'm going out out. Best makeup remover or tips for 
for waterproof mascara so I can't even remember like what you fully call it but you know that like Nivea like a like waterproof remover stuff like I swear by it it's really really good um especially for taking off like really harsh like eyeliners and like gluing your eyelashes and stuff like that it's really really good so I would use that like with a wee cotton pad just over my eyes and like any cleansers if you scrub them into your like face like like good enough that like, they will remove your makeup or works for you like I just literally wing the micellar water on the cotton pads wipe it off and then use a cleanser and a hot flannel as I said at the start of this so it's just like whatever whatever's best for you you clean your brushes and how often so since being off on in quarantine I have been doing a lot of like makeup tutorials and like Instagram pictures and things like that so for me personally because I do makeup and because I do clients makeups I'm so used to just cleaning my brushes all the time like because it's only me like whenever I only use my only set of makeup brushes for myself I will clean them like like say I done my makeup there today I'll clean my brushes tomorrow when I'm not doing anything or I'll clean them like the next day like I'll clean them before I do my next makeup whereas client makeup if I use makeup brushes on a client I'll wash them straight after that client like even if it's just like a quick clean as such but in between clients I'll use like surgical spirit just to make sure that my brushes are clean for my next client whereas say I have like five six seven people in on a Saturday I'll like spot clean in between them clients and then at the end of that day I'll deep clean my brushes soak my brushes overnight I'll wash them and then leave them to dry then overnight um so how often it just depends it depends how busy I am in between clients all the time and at the end of the day um but like I said like I could have clients in on Saturday and I'll clean them at the end of the day but I might not be like using my makeup brushes until the next Saturday so like it could just be like once a week because I work full time during the week it could just be like every Saturday so it just depends really palette you recommend for everyday makeup like I don't really use them but like I've seen a lot of people like using like wee like Primark palettes or like um like any palettes from drugstore really but one of the palettes that I would like really recommend to somebody who's like just winging on like just everyday makeup or even if they're going out but like they don't like really dark makeup or anything would be the LMD palette she has a blush on it she has a highlight on it she has contour shade on it plus she has all your other way shades so I think they're a great palette for people that aren't makeup artists for people that just want it for their own kit they are great see like the bigger palettes that I use like the Be Perfect palettes and all or like the P. Louise ones like I wouldn't use them for like every day I would use them for like looks however the P. Louise palette that I got there recently that Secret Center one like there's a lot of orange shades and a lot of brown shades in it so it could probably be used as like an everyday palette what product could you not live without love your makeup by the way <laughs> thanks so much Maria um product I couldn't live without if I was doing my makeup maybe concealer actually like if, if it was the one product probably concealer actually the more I think about it because you can get like obviously light coloured concealers for your highlight but then you can get like darker colours of concealer too so you could use that for your contour so yeah actually concealer best primer to keep your makeup on all day I have a couple of really um, good primers that like I will always go back to. Um, recently I've been trying a new primer which I'm obsessed with. So it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. It's sort of like a like a gel base um, consistency. I think it's like really good for dry skin. My skin is so dry and that primer seems like really hydrating. Um, also the Elamasca Hydra Veil, it's a really good primer for dry skin. It's really moisturising but it's a really good primer as well. Um, things like the Wee Benefit Primer, 
it's really good for like smoothing all your pores and like the makeup forever that's step one smoothing primer it's very good um once that i would recommend that i believe like keep your makeup on would be the all nighter primer and the makeup forever smoothing primer them two are like by far my two favorites what is your favorite style of lashes so my favorite brand of lashes would be tally lash by far um i couldn't wear them 20 30 times and they would still be good um they have so many different styles um that i love um tl9 i love for like just like a wispy like like natural look but not really like too natural if you know what i mean so by tl9 i love i love tl3 for like a full glam um look love the tl6 is really good for like a winged um sort of eye look so there's quite a few i love from them the so so lashes are quite good too i find some of like the styles in them the band is quite thick but like the style of them is so lovely favorite kind of look to do so favorite kind of look to me on to do is brown smoky eye um brown smoky eye definitely with like a glowy base on clients whatever suits them to be honest um something like natural dust um on me like eye wise either brown smoky eye really natural eye with like big lashes or a really dark grungy eye look with like full base obviously favorite tan so i actually did a tan routine over on my instagram if you want to go check it out um but my favorite tan is the bondi sands ultra dark tan i've used their products for years my skin is so dry in so whatever products they have in it are just really good for my skin right now i wash my hands fucking loads like no matter what tan i use like it goes rotten on my hands anyway but that's the tan i always use the tan that it, like i would never really tan my face but to give my face some sort of wee color i would use the so so wonder water for my face and i love it it's so refreshing and just gives like a wee hint of a like glowy tan to your face what inspires your makeup look so instagram pinterest and my own brain <laughs> so i got a question on they have asked do you have support while improving your business i don't um i started cm makeup probably three years ago now um within the first two years i sort of like Love doing makeup and then I wasn't getting very much clients so it put me off and then I would say right I'm not doing it anymore like I don't have many people coming to me like it just got me down and I was like like I'm not good enough like I just put negative doubts in my head all the time it's just like right that's it I'm giving up so the amount of times in that first two years that I gave up I was like right I'm not doing it anymore I'll just keep like this way room to myself and all now like I don't want to do people's faces anymore because like I'm only getting like one person a month or like two people like within the month or something I got annoyed at myself and I was like I'm not doing it anymore so at the start like I was completely alone and then within the last year like I've started to like put more pictures on my facebook page i've started to put more stuff on instagram like trying to push myself and get myself out there more the thing that i would say that has supported me like along like trying to grow my business has been instagram like the last like not even the last year like probably nearly just like during this isolation like other people seeing my stuff like my instagram is growing like my followers are growing the more i'm putting up makeup pictures um but obviously i don't know like is that going to support like my clientele whenever i reopen again because like nobody knows what's going to happen whenever lockdown comes off light coverage foundation recommendations so 
I am gonna actually do a video about my favorite products and things like that um because it, quite a lot of questions I've got here are like regarding like what products do you use what's your favorite brand of product like different stuff so I will do like a full like makeup product um video but as for light coverage foundations I always wear full coverage foundation however I find like a lot of like drugstore brands um can be like light coverage like I find drugstore brands brands who you can like build up so like the likes of like your L'Oreal or your even know like Maybelline and stuff like they do have good coverage but I find like you can build their coverage up so to have the lightest coverage you can use them also the way like I think it's Makeup Pro Store they have like we like like cream foundation pots um I find they are quite light coverage however they do not suit all skin types and if you're anyway oily they will just slide off your face so I wouldn't recommend them like in that way um but if you have really good skin and your skin isn't too oily like they would be really good for your skin because they look really fresh and healthy so that's the end of the video Um, I will be doing another video on my favorite products because I got quite a lot of questions on this um, I obviously didn't answer like any of them or a lot of them in this video because I'm gonna do a separate video but thank you so much for watching and I hope you're all safe and well I'm sending all my positive vibes to you see you later bye